In today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, I stumble across my best thrift store finder of the year. There's one that sold pre-owned for 440. And another, and these are on bids and they're pre -owned. We're back in the garage to break down the weekend sales. We got a $50 sale price for this, so that's a very good um, price. And Courtney takes us through a shipping masterclass for anyone out there just starting out with their eBay journeys. But I will just do a little note of what DVD <laughs> on the inside. We've got a stacked episode ahead, let's do it. I'm starting the day with a little thrift adventure and I've been able to come across these to kick us off. The brand is new, as you can see there, they sell for about 40 to 45 odd dollars and I'm picking them up here in store for just the four bucks. So a size 32 waist, this should turn around pretty quick for me. It's Decent brand of jeans. I've also got this as well. We've got a very first ever purchase of a karaoke player. Not sure if I'll be grabbing this one uh, out of the box to give it a bit of a play myself, but it is in great condition, I will say that. $35 purchase in store. Comps on eBay, I was having a look and it was actually a lot of international sales, which I don't mind comping up an international price point. I was seeing a lot over the $100 rate. So 35 buy, sell it for about $110 odd dollars. I think that'll definitely be worth my time. I've actually got this as well, which has already gone on to sell. It did say that it was one book missing, but there actually wasn't. It was a complete set of 14 books, so I'm not too sure who was counting those up out the back. Uh, but $8 converted into $35. That was a nice little turnaround. Glad I ended up buying that one. Um, I moved into the shoe section and I had a bit of a look at these. The uh, Gel Kayanos. sold them so many times in the past. These are priced at just $15, but unfortunately there was a bit of wear on the back there. Um, so I had to had to say no to those. I said yes to these though. These were the Ciccone, um, they were the Glide 2s, I think they are. Um, or no, they're, actually, no, they're not. They are the Endorphin Speed 2s. Um, for $15, though, this was a great price. I've ended up going ahead with this. I should be able to get a $50 conversion. Um, a bit like, or a bit opposite to the Kaonos. These are actually in great condition, so that's why I went ahead with the purchase. Uh, Battlestar Galactica as well, the complete series. I've gone ahead and picked this up for $10. This is a great complete series set of a, a really good TV show. $50 worth of a purchase price on eBay. I'm going to list it up for $49.95. We'll see how we go with that. I thought that was a pretty decent grab for a pretty cheap purchase price. And then this one here as well, before we go and have a sales meeting with Courtney. I've got this one here, a Harry Potter book set, first edition as well. Look at this, first edition, exactly what you want to see. We should be able to get about 25 bucks for that. So a little bad round out. It was a decent trip. Well, it's definitely a first, a karaoke machine in the thrift. But uh, that did look in really good condition as I touched on. So look, put it into e-profit calculator on deliberation while I was in store and I'm hoping I can get about 109. I'm going to list it up for 120 uh, and then hope to you know, accept the best offer at about that 109. So that would mean $40 worth of profit. You buy it for 35, you ship it for 20, you pay your fees, you're going to pretty much make $35. So, you know, would you spend 35 to make 35? I would. So here it is. We've got it in the car. Um, but yeah, karaoke. If you were given a microphone at a karaoke bar, what would you play? Let me know in the comments. I'd be very, very curious to hear. Karaoke bangers. For me, it'd be Killers, Mr. Brightside, without a doubt. I don't think there's a word in that song that I don't know. Here's all the, all the work that I've been doing on these cameras so far to give you guys a bit of an update. That might be a good place to start. I've listed this guy up for $299 and we have 12 watches right now and 100 views. Um, we found all of these in a thrift store for just $50. So literally everything. You've got these old vintage cameras. Look at this thing. Look at this. Whoa. Crazy. And the lady came out to me and she goes, you're into your cameras, take these away for 50 bucks, get it out of my hands. And I was like, oh my God, that's like the deal of a lifetime. That was a large part of the weekend trying to research and work through all of that there. We did get some sales come through. I explained in last week's vlog that there was a bit of an issue for us on a sales front. This is uh, the toughest month that we've had all year coming off last month, which was our very best month of the year. Um, so a little bit frustrating to see the fall, but we're averaging $270 a day, 19 days into the month. Um, so we want to boost that up to $355 on average to hit our 11 grand. With only 10 or 11 days to go, we're probably not going to get there. We're only on track for about eight or 9,000. 
Um, so the goal now is to try and salvage it and get to 10K. And these cameras, I think, are, are gonna go a long way to helping us get there. Um, we're gonna be filling this up today. Um, 20 orders, Courtney. Mm -hmm. 20 orders we're gonna be putting into the mailbag. And we're gonna take you through a little bit of a slower process to it, I think, on camera. We're gonna make it a little bit longer form video today step you through the way we're gonna ship off some of these items, show you what some of these items are going on to sell for and the reasons why we're either happy or unhappy about the sale. Um, so hopefully this longer form educational type of a video uh, is one that you wanna be watching. You know what, some other great news? Oh, yeah. I sold the TV cabinet. Oh, yeah. It's sold. We got $120 for it. It took a lot longer. It took yeah. about two weeks to sell and uh, I thought it'd take about two days to sell. Yeah. So the camera, mar oh, the camera, the furniture market has definitely slowed up on Facebook. But 120 bucks, he came and picked it up. He was super happy about it. We bought it for 50 in a thrift store. Can't complain. No complaints. Um, let's get into these 20 sales. All right, the DVDs have been selling. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about the DVD sales that we've had over the weekend, starting with the very worst one of every sale. Don't know how it survived the cut. I don't, I would not have kept this. Anyway, it was $13, um, so we're going to make nothing, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> don't buy that. Um, and this is another one. We got this, what, were you saying not too long ago? Yeah, about remember. a week and a half of the private buy. Unforgotten life. Series 1 and 2. We only got a $15 sale price for that, so again. Why did we list it? No, the, I, <laughs> I think we would have listed it because maybe the sell-through rate, I don't know. It's going to cost us, we're going to put this into a satchel too, aren't we? Yeah. So it's going to go on a small satchel, $8.50. Fifteen dollar yeah. sale price. Oh yeah, fifteen. Yeah. We're not making a lot of money. Anyway, you talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> Orphan Black. This is the series. A little bit of a mix. We're missing season series three in that. Um, but we got a thirty dollar sale price for that. That's better. We would have um, stipulated that in the title though that we missed that season. Yeah. Um, that was also. We've had this one for a little bit as well, so mm. that took a while to sell. That will also go into a small satchel for $8. And the reason why it took a while to sell is because it was missing season three. Yeah. But what we like to do is we like to list up what we've got, and then if we find a season three maybe out thrifting later on today, yeah. if this hadn't sold, we could go in and manipulate the listing and then make it a complete listing, and it might just speed up the sell-through rate. Yeah. But yeah. it's sold and it's partial, which is great. Which is good. And then this one here is a really good one. We got this only a week or two ago. And a no, this one came out of, oh, I just remembered then, um, out of Rick's buy. When we opened up all the DVDs last week and the Game Boy and everything. You know how Rick oh, dropped yes, us off that did. parcel? Did. So literally under a week. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect Strangers, complete first and second season. We got a $30. $30. Yeah. So that was really good. Thanks That's free. Rick. Yeah. Big one from Rick. That will go into a medium tracked envelope. Yep. And this one here is about two weeks ago as well, I think, from a private buy. 24 complete series, is it? Ooh. Yeah, now I'm gonna put the screen grab up of the sale mm. and have a look at the title, guys. The title reads at season one to six, and then it also reads plus four extras. But the extras are actually referring to season seven, and then we've also got season, the final season eight, and then we've got redemption, and then we've also got this one, the, life. the li live another day. Yeah. And when you've got that and you search for the comps on that, it's actually a $100 listing. But we've gone ahead and listed it up one to six plus extras, not taking into account exactly what we've got. Mm. Um, and we sold it for half its value. 50, so. Yeah, it went quick. But look, that's just lessons learned. $50 sale price is still gonna take it. We're not perfect. <laughs> no one's perfect, but that's an interesting one, isn't it? Like yeah. if you were to find yeah. a bunch of these in the, in the thrift, really getting into the nitty gritty of the titles that you've got, um, you'll see that that's, that's actually Redemption and Live Another Day are hard to find. Yeah, really, sure. really hard to find. Well, good sale for the buyer. Good sale, a good win for the buyer. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, good win for us because we wouldn't have yeah. paid too much for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but if that's... you find it, that's $100 right there. Pretty, pretty big Bolo DVD. Just been running through the wall of this uh, video game cabinet that we've got here. It's not as full as it's been. We're actually searching for video games. Maybe today out in the thrift corny. Yeah. We can try and find some more video games. One of the hardest things to do when you're out thrifting is to find video games. I feel like they price them so high now. They price them high and everyone wants them when they go in looking for them. You just never see it. I think there's a lot of backdoor stuff with video games. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of people ask for. Yeah. Uh, okay, a couple of sales though. I will hold it up. No, I won't. I can't give it away. <laughs> we'll go slow. Yeah. Um, we've got quite a lot of sales here in the video game category because they do sell so well. That's why everybody wants them. Um, State of Decay. Xbox One, 20 bucks. 
Um, Brothers in Arms, this one here sold for 20 as well. That one also came with international shipping for $20, um, so that was a win. Those are our starting points, uh, which we speak about a lot for the price point of a, of a video game. So if it hits that $20 mark, then we go ahead and we put it as an individual listing. If it doesn't hit $20, it sits up here in our, our bundle stack. So that was the starting point. They only get better from here. Um, Gran Turismo 2. This one only sold for $25. Reason being is we're actually missing a disc. Hmm. There it is right there. Disc missing. I think you get like 40 of that. Yeah, I think it's about 40 or 50, but we took 25 because the missing disc was in there, but it's still sold. Yeah. You wouldn't think it. Yeah. I reckon a lot of people would see that with a missing disc and they'd probably just not buy it, mm. but it does still sell. Um, pretty certain these both went for 25 as well, mm -hmm. off memory. Absolute classics. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Brawl and uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, uh, both on Nintendo Wii. All of these games, guys, if you're curious around what we're buying our games for, never anything more than about five bucks, is it? No. It's always five or less. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we get them in big bulk buys, and that's generally the way you want to be buying your video games. Five bucks or less, and if you can get a large allotment for like three dollars or so, um, you're going to be in the win because you're going to be selling them for three dollars. We, we list these for three. Um, so it's kind of like up on the top shelf is money back, and then all of this is going to be big profit over 20. Um, next ones, and this is all weekend sales in the video game category. So mm. they, they sell like crazy. Um, were these 30s? Yes. I think this was like 32 or something. Um, Sonic and Spyro. Yeah. Sonic, Spyro, Super Mario Bros. Like all these classic titles just sell every day. They go like hotcakes. Um, this one here was a $30 game. I think was it 30 or 40? No, 30. No, yeah. that one was 30. Yeah. Um, Super Mario Bros. on the Wii. We've actually got another copy there. Um, we've actually got... This is what I'm shocked about. We're going to have to go and drop the price again. We've got yeah. three Nintendo Wii Sports Resorts and two Mario Karts. And three Mario and Sonic. Yeah. Yeah, at the Olympics. Yeah. There's some big titles in there that haven't been moving. So we might... And when that's the case, it's just due to the price that you're listing it at. Mm. So we're going to go in and drop the price and get the sale. Uh, Mario Kart on the Wii. This one was actually sold for under its true market value, I believe, unless this is tanked and it's dropped in price. You used to be able to sell these for like $60, especially considering this does have the Wii uh, Mario Kart game in it. And it also has its steering wheel. And it's also got its original box, but we only got $35. It's mm. pretty cheap. Yeah. Like I've sold these in the past for 60 or 70. Mm. Anyway, 35, we'll take it. Uh, this one was a banger though. This one's one of those games where you might think it's not worth a lot of money because you see it in an abundance. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops isn't worth a lot, but Call of Duty Black Ops number two is worth a lot. And this one here sold for $40. It was our best video game sale from the weekend. No manual. Yeah, even no manual, still got 40 bucks for it. And we yeah. took photos of that as well. Uh, so that is a total of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten video games out of our 20 sales in this garage. So big, big category, guys. Make sure you're selling them. Shoes. Is this our only pair of shoes this week? The only pair. Interesting. Mm. Um, Considering we've got a lot. Yeah, it is. We've got like 250 pairs of shoes. Yeah, we need to look into that. Mm. Um, this is one of our most popular styles and brands at Soul is the Nike Pegasus running shoe. These are a woman's US 10. Great size. We've, have we had these for a while? Have yeah. We? We've had them for a while. Yeah. We've got a $30 sale price as well. So pretty low, but... They can sell for 50. Yeah. We Why took, do you, was, well, is we it took, the color? Or? No, I, no, I don't know. I saw an offer come in that was very low ball at 30 and I just thought because we haven't had many shoes sell, yeah. let's just accept the offer. Yeah. I don't know. What it were was, they listed at? I think probably 49.95. Yeah. And I, I took a very generous offer of 30. Yeah. Um, just due to the fact as well, guys, we are obviously experiencing a slower volume of sales with that $270 average. So. When these sorts of situations pop up where you're getting offers, but you're not yeah. getting full price sales, sometimes you just got to take the offer to get some sales under your belt. Yeah, they'll go into a small satchel. Yeah, we will still profit on them. We would have yeah. bought them for about 10 bucks in a thrift store. Yeah. Small satchel is going to be 850, so mm. there'll be a couple of dollars in profit, but it was more to try and get the ball rolling. And we, we did, we picked up a $220 day and then a $300 day on Sunday. This is a great item. Mm -hmm. This is a really unique, a random item braille bricks who would have thought yeah lego doing braille bricks and there's literally braille right there um it's amazing pretty cool mm. i didn't know they did it it's this one's actually sealed up as well so i've got no issues with the quantity 
um, you know, missing pieces or anything like that. Um, this one was listed for 90, accepted for 60. We've got a lot of acceptance of best offers uh, this weekend just to try and pull in these sales. I'm still happy with 60 because we got this at a private pick uh, about a week and a half ago. So great sell through rate. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I took a 33% best offer. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a good sale at 60 bucks because this will cost no more than about 15, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Maybe 18, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, but when we were paying only sort of sub $10 for it, great, great profit. Your favorite category? Yeah. The books. Books. Um, we've got two book sales this weekend. Starting with this one, this one was not a very good one. We've had this for actually quite a while and they're hard covers, except for one. So that's gonna be really heavy to ship and we only got a $30 sale price for that as well. So with the new process of how we're sourcing and listing, we definitely wouldn't go ahead and do this again, but I think we've had them for so long. I can't even yeah. remember what we paid. We had a long time. Um, yeah, not a great one, but still, still in order. And then we got this one here, which actually Matt only got last week. It is the, what is this? Oh, tomorrow in the wall again. Mm, it's a ripper. It is a ripper. One to six um, paperback books. We got a $50 sale price for this. So that's a very good um, price. How much did you pay for them? 10. 10, yeah. 10 into 50. And it's actually missing, if you have a look at the numbers there, it's actually missing book one. That while I live down oh. the bottom there is part of its second series. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's it's an impartial set. Yeah, okay. Or I should say a partial set. Why yeah. Does, why, why do I say impartial? No. That's not a word. Not sure. Is it? Probably not. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, 50 bucks. That was a really, really yeah. good quick sale too. So if you're seeing John Marsden, definitely grab it. Um, got, got a few a more to sell. A few that have been here for a bit too. Might need to get in and start dropping some prices. Um, we're going to do a little YouTuber, um, what's it called? Not a sale. Oh yeah, a sale. Okay. Did you just get this? Uh, no, I've had this for, I got it off Selwyn, maybe a month never, or two ago. Never seen it. Thought it would have sold by now and it hasn't. Um, the Sonic, it's like a controller holder for, is it any controller? It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure any controller will hold. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we've got it on eBay for 50, but we're going to do it for any viewers that want to buy it for 25 with shipping included. included. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. That's epic. Yeah. Sonic controller holder. Maybe we should do we should do one every Monday where it's just like we pick something. Yeah, we'll pick something out. And this is what this is the first week we're gonna be doing it. Yeah. Twenty five bucks. Yeah. That'll go fast because mm -hmm. that is a very cool item. So talk us through the process, Courtney. What's the first thing that we do when it comes to shipping? Uh, first thing you'll do is organize it into like sections of um, envelopes, satchels, or boxes. Um, we usually always start with envelopes, which I've already gone ahead and done for nice. this weekend. Why do we do that first? Because when we um, import all of our orders from eBay, that's integrated with our MyPace business into the laptop, it will not import these ones because we've already shipped and like sent them. Um, so they're gone from eBay. So then you're only uploading your satchels and your boxes. So Makes that's why easier. we do that. And then usually we go by doing satchels after that. So we'll go, we've got three smalls today. Um, so we're going to be, smalls we've decided are going to be these ones at the back here, aren't they? Correct, yeah. So we've got the shoes. Yeah. And then we've got these two that will Have fit into a small as bubbles. well. So Courtney's just looked out. The three smalls, and that is the first process that we do with the with the actual My Post business account. If you guys haven't got a My Post business, it's so easy to just do it all from home. Also, when I'm, because I do obviously the post on a Monday, which is our biggest day. Um, so when I get confused, I obviously package them all up first, and then I'll do it into My Post business. But I will just do a little note of what DVD. I forgot has one. Forgotten. On the inside. There, just there, because I obviously yeah. flip this. And then when we can show you when we do it in my post business, there's a reference section and I'll put Unforgotten DVD. So it matches up. So touch wood, since I've worked for my, I think we've only had like maybe two that have gone to the wrong place. Mm. So it works. Just, yeah, labeling it or reference on it. That reference thing is huge. Yeah. Sometimes when you do the post, does not do a reference. I'm not the best and at we my post. Print, we just print and hope. I'm also not the best at skewing if you speak to Courtney. Mm. I, don't, I don't, when I do my listings, I like to ignore the skew and And Courtney then we'll get back to it another day. But that's what happened three years ago, isn't it? 
well, it's what happened every day for three years. Yeah. And then Corn has just put me in line. just the Spyro PlayStation 1 game we had. So we put them into boxes just to protect the cover. So a bunch of bubble wrap. Then we'll chuck them in here and I put butcher's paper behind that, supporting it. Nice. And then we put a bit more here. Top and bottom. Like that. We've always shipped them like this and never ever had an issue. And I've just cut it down a little bit just so that the height is accurate to the item. Oh, okay, so you've chopped the box a little bit. Yeah, each corner. And then we'll just fold it like that. So when you go and weigh your item and measure it, it's like you're not wasting space. Space. And then we'll sticky tape that up really well. Send it off in a perfect perfect box. Yeah, protected. And then what do we use to weigh that? Literally just a cheap kitchen scale from like Kmart or Big W or whatever you have in America. That's the version of that. Actually, I'm Target. Um, 10, yeah. 15 bucks, isn't it? Cheap kitchen scale. Yeah. You just weigh it, measure it, and that will probably go for what's like a small satchel price? Potentially, potentially a small satchel price because the weight of it isn't very heavy. It's really light, yeah. So that should go for the same price as the small satchels we were doing for $8.50. That's how we do our boxes, satchels, and envelopes. Thank you for watching Courtney's Masterclass. <laughs>
Not unless it's in um, dries of bone. Oh, we'll do dries of bone. Yeah, if you find any dries of bone, let me know. Now, I don't like doing motorcycle helmets because Where? the health and safety aspect. Yeah. If they've been in a crash yeah. and then you were to try and sell it. No. Not good. No. So don't, don't do motorcycle helmets. Um, I like these for 15. I don't like the size. Mm. They're a six and a half. Yeah. No. Oh. Women's six and a half. But just in the kids' rack because I've told them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll leave them. This is a great series. If you guys are into your books, this is one you want to be selling. Ranger's Apprentice. Now there's a lot of books in this series. I'll put some comps up on the screen. We've only got three books here, so we're gonna say no. Mm. But if you found a big set of rangers, maybe a garage sale or something like that, big, big dollars. All right, one, so we need another five. Mm. Um, came to $12, right? $2 each. <laughs> so that means we're gonna make about, at most, $10 in profit. Yeah, not, not amazing. Hey, look at this. Have a look at the carnage that took place last night on my car. Are you going to clean it? Well, I'm going to have to really quickly because it stains and it peels the paint. It does. It's because of the tree that overhangs... Anyway. See, when you spend a bit of time thrifting, you can start to go, nah. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're new, you've got to sit there forever and work it out. Yeah. We've got some Berkies here. Look at those. They're new. 45. Oh God. How much are Berks though? I think that style is not that much. Mm. But you can check. Nah, I think you're right. 45 is a bit steep. No. Oh, these are great. Look at these. Oh my goodness, 70. No. These are the Vapor Max Plus. Men's nine and a half. $70. Yeah, that's a shame. What about on that top shelf? We've got a couple of Harry Potters. Oh yeah, you're no, right. Here. No, what, what about all up this? I did not look at that. All up here though, Courtney. I think they're puzzles, aren't they? Oh, look at this. How much? Oh. I can't believe you were stitching me up with this. I would never. This is an exclusive edition, brand new and sealed. $50. Shit. But what's it worth? Is it worth $200? Let's have a look. Have a guess. I reckon it's like 70 Remember, it's brand new. Oh my lord, Courtney. No. What the fuck? Far out? Courtney. What do you mean? Condition new. <laughs> what is that? What is, are you mm. sure that's that? Legend Pledge. Leg is this Legend Pledge? Gangs. Of there's another one there. Oh, there's another one. This one, little one? There's three of them. Oh my god. What is it though? That one's 30. They're all sealed, Courtney. Family's an outcut. We need to buy all of this. We need to look into it. This must have just come in. 18th of the 8th. It came in yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. That's what you want. Well, look, I've never heard of it. All brand new. The comp. What's it? Look at this. So Drop bears. That's got to be good. Really? Drop, I don't know. <laughs> 30. 30, but it's brand new and sealed. Just come in. What else? <laughs> What's this? Brand new and sealed waste nights. 50. Could be, could be, could be worth 700. Mm -hmm. All international? Or? Oh, we have to look into it. And then you've got this one as well, another waste nights. Two different versions. That's Sydney. Hmm. So it's an Aussie Pretty game. Cool. All right. 
Cyberpunk. Oh, I'm gonna put this on screen record. Mm. Cyberpunk 2007. I know the video game does well. Gangs of Gangs of Night City. Let's have a look. Gangs of Night City. 440. With all expansions. Mm. See, that's went for 250. By itself. 380, 440 on bids. But corny. The difference though is these are pre owned. Yeah, that's yeah, that's brand what I mean. new. One at 207. Mm. But if I turn on. Second edition. Second edition. Both second edition. If I go sold. Okay, so this one, 100 and 150. Mm -hmm. Pre-owned. Pre-owned. Uh, let's just check drop bears. 50 is a lot for those. Have... Yeah. Drop Bears board game. Can't find anything on it. I don't know about you, because there's no real information on eBay for this, mm. as good as it could potentially be. I think we're gonna leave it. Yeah. And I actually think we're gonna leave these. Yeah. What do you think? We've actually decided to buy everything. Yeah. Okay. I'll explain more in the car. All right. I got a little bit excited when I was in store and I missed one thing when I was doing my research. I wasn't doing brand new and sealed because that's what these are. We always have a preset filter that is pre-owned. So all of the research I was doing in store was around the pre-owned price points. Um, what we've got here though is ridiculously good money. Um, I'll leave drop bears for a second, but I wanna to talk to you about waste nights. Obviously on the screen you would have seen in the edit, I put them up for $200. Um, there were two sales in the last week um, for this one here. Um, selling for 200 to $240. Um, this one though, where there is no data, there's no sales history around this copy. So if this one's selling for a good two to 250, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assume that this one's worth similar value. I'm actually gonna list the both up together. We're gonna to do one group listing with these two and I'm gonna try for $400. I'm gonna try and sell them for 200 bucks a piece. Um, and get a $400 sale, only have to ship it off just the once. There wasn't any information, even with a brand new copy on the filtering uh, for, for drop bears. So this game, this board game, it could be a rare title. I have literally no idea. I'm not a board game collector or expert by any means. Um, it's definitely an Australian board game, but I'm gonna list this up for $200 on eBay because there is literally nothing available for this game uh, on eBay at the moment. So we do get to set the price and I'd be happy paying 30 in store to sell it for 200. So we'll see how that one goes. But this one, this is the monster. Five to $600 worth of resale value. We've paid $110 in store to get our hands on it. It's got a couple of different expansion, uh, expansion packs. And then it's obviously got the big guy, the exclusive edition box set of the board game, the original right there as well. So look, being brand new, I think we'll be able to get top dollar. We're gonna list this up for 500 bucks. Uh, and if we get it, I'm gonna be absolutely ecstatic. It's my birthday today, guys. I didn't allude to it at the start of the video, but this is an incredible birthday present to be able to find today. And if we can get them to sell for our full asking price, this will be $1,100 worth of thrift store finds, and we only paid the $240 in store to get it. Best thrift store find this year, without a doubt. All right, so there they are right there up on the top shelf. Fingers crossed they can be out of the house sooner rather than later, and we're gonna make ourselves quite a bit of money. You don't often find that in thrift stores. That was a rare one today. This video right here though was another trip to the thrift that actually paid off for us. We sold a lot of these items that we found in this video, so I'm gonna leave you with that one. It's my birthday. I'm going out for dinner tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm on a bit of a high. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you soon.